The 2023 WTA Chef Showdown. Watch seven teams of two compete in a head-to-head -head battle for a spot in the finals. Welcome back to the second episode of the 2023 Chef Showdown. In the last round, two teams battled out to impress the judges and move on to the second round. The winners of the first round was the purple team, who consisted of Tegan, Xadrian, Alex, Ava, Gianna, Aiden, and Trey. But fear not for the yellow team. For this next challenge, each member of the purple team will choose a member from the yellow team to be their sous chef. For today's challenge, we'll be doing a Burger Blitz Draft presented by Autumn Mist Farm to Table and Hampton Ponds Market. Each member of the purple team, along with their brand new sous chef, will choose an item from a list of ingredients. This list includes different types of bread, toppings, and cheeses. Once an item has been chosen, no other team can use it, resulting in seven unique burger creations. Team 1 is Ava and John, and they chose a grinder roll, mushrooms, and Swiss cheese. Team 2 is Gianna and Nella with a pretzel bun avocado, and pepper jack cheese. Team three is Alex and Skye, and they picked white bread, bacon, and cheddar. Team four is Aiden and Connor, and they chose a croissant, autumn mist chili, and American cheese. Team five is Hayden and Trey. They picked the donut, onion rings, and mozzarella. Team six is Aiden and Xadrian with a ciabatta roll, fried egg, and provolone cheese. Team seven is Joey and Tegan, and they chose a potato bun, peppers and onions, and Munster cheese. Each of these teams will enter the kitchen in 15 minute intervals and will have 20 minutes to create their very own burger masterpiece. Let's get cooking. First up is team one. It is day two of the WTA Chef Showdown and today's competition is making burgers. We had, uh, it was a grinder roll mushrooms, and Swiss cheese. Are you sharing any of the harsh feelings like any of the other contestants towards Hayden? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. I disagree, I am. Confidence is key. My confidence is all the way up there. I gotta beat that, uh, that's arrogant piece of <gasps> Aiden. Team one has finished their burger. Now it's time for judging. Team one has created a steak and cheese burger with salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder. Time for team two to make their way into the kitchen. We heard that you originally didn't want to choose avocado. How did that, how did you guys get stuck with it? Mella forced me to pick it. <laughs> you need to get over here. I heard that you guys want to put a thin layer of it so it's almost not noticeable. Is that true? Yeah. How do you think the judges will think? What do you think they'll... I think they'll be fine with it. I think they're gonna love Lots of drink breaks happening from Team 2. We didn't know what we were doing. We, we were kind of just doing we it. We had a preferred temperature. It like, it was that temperature and then when we cut it, it was wrong. It was wrong. <laughs> it is raw inside of their burger. Quick, grab a blow to 
They have 20 seconds left on the clock, and they just found out that it is raw inside of their patty. Eight seconds on the clock. Time's up. We wish you guys the best of luck. The burgers, the burger that we made to plate to give to them was raw, and the one that was pretty wasn't. So we had to give them the pretty one and put the ugly one on display. So. Did you guys have fun with the experience? No. No. Would you guys do Chef Showdown again? No. no. <laughs> Team 2's burger is now complete and is ready for judging. Team 2 has made a pretzel bun burger with an avocado based aioli with honey mustard, mayo, and avocados. Team 3 is sprinting into the kitchen. So we had this inspiration from the Big E with the Crazy Burger. We were going to choose the donut bacon and neither American or cheddar cheese, but this, mm, this idiot. Me and Sky, we really, really wanted that donut, but because we couldn't get it, we ended up wanting to make the white bread into a donut. We end up cutting the, like, we end up cutting a slice of bread, cutting a, like, into a circle, a hole in it, and then deciding to just put it in batter, deep fry it, make it a donut, make it our own. <clears throat> Hayden, the nerve. That is ridiculous. Like, no. <laughs> furious. That's what I could say. Having the burger be taken from me when the white bread was still on the table, where there was so many other bread and carb options that you could have chose from. You choose, oh, you choose donut with onion rings. Are you kidding me? That is so stupid. It's all his fault if we lose. And he, I will, I won't let him let that down. I'll make him live till this day. If he, he's 98, and he's still remembering about this day and time that he chose the freaking burger or um, the donut and made us lost. We're, We're coming, coming for you, Hayden. Time for Team 3 to present their dish to the judges. Team 3 has created their very own donut burger from scratch using white bread. Their sauce on their burger includes maple syrup, sriracha sauce, and mayo. We'll be right back after a word from our supporters. It's not a convenience store, and it's certainly not a big chain supermarket. It's Hampton Ponds Market in Westfield. This clean, convenient, locally owned grocer has seafood, produce, and meats. A full deli counter as well as a lunch buffet that's always offering up something new and unique. Check out their Facebook page daily for lunch options or visit their website for the weekly flyer. Avoid the traffic of the chain grocery stores and stop by the Hampton Ponds Plaza. And feel free to sample some bakery items on your way inside the Hampton Ponds Market to say hello to George, the owner. Hampton Ponds Market is proud to support the WTA Chef Showdown. Looking for beef from animals raised cruelty and steroid free? Come on down to Autumnist Farm at 1157 North Westfield Street in Feeding Hill. Everyone at Autumnist takes pride in their products such as ground beef, porterhouse, steak tips, tenderloin, T-bone, short ribs, and a large selection of locally sourced vegetables. Daily specials are posted to the Autumnist Facebook page. You can order for breakfast, lunch, or dinner all day or order ahead at 413-786-BEEF. Orders can be taken home or enjoyed in-house at their outdoor picnic table. For more information, please please visit autumnistfarm.com. Proud support to the WTA's Chef Showdown. We're back and Team 4 is on the move. What team are you guys? We're team number 4, the winners. The winners? You say that with confidence? I do. Can you walk me through what you're doing right now? I am grounding up the meat to make a sloppy joe type meal.
How is everything looking last minute? Pretty good. Are you confident? I am super confident. Did it, everything go good time-wise and everything? Yep. Team 4 has completed their burger and is ready to present to the judges. And the lettuce obviously is for presentation yep. too, yep. and so is that. All right, and you, is it real? Is it like chili inside, like with beans and stuff, or just chili? Yeah, okay, chili. full chili. Yeah, full chili. All right. Anything else you want us to know before we take a bite? Uh, it's really good. Okay. <laughs> pass me, pass me over. All right. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So, better presentation. I like the idea of actually putting the chili powder on the plate. My first initial thought is not a lot of heat, though. I'm not thinking chili, I'm thinking, like, doesn't have to be overpowering spicy, but I'm not really tasting any any heat. The flavor is good. But it Just, could use a little kick. Yeah, definitely, definitely needs a kick. I like the croissant. That's unique. Mm -hmm. Time for Team 5 to make their way into the kitchen. I'm good with sandwiches. Burgers fall under that. I think I could do a decent burger. Well, some of your fellow contestants um, don't care to agree with that. What would you have to say to them for that? The hate fuels the flame, and the flame fuels the person. The person succeeds with the flame. Uh, my partner, uh, Trey, um, wasn't bad, but would, was just standing there staring at me until I had to raise my voice to tell him to do something. Can you walk me through what you're doing right now? I am making a donut burger. I'm cooking the donuts. So, um, oh crap. So, uh, add some crisp to it. And you were the person that took Alex's and Sky's original donut idea, right? I am, yeah. You don't feel bad about that? Nope. You think, you think your vision's gonna come together for the burger? I'm not saying that it'll be any better, but I know it definitely come out good. Team 5 has finished their burger and is ready for the judges. Team 5's burger is a donut burger composed of onion rings, cayenne peppers, paprika, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. Team 6 has made their way into the kitchen. Exadrian, how's everything so far? We literally just got in here. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and when we went in to go, like, cook everything, it was all not as planned. Because the, the flat top was off. I think we got sabotaged. Well, I mean, Hayden and Trey were right before our yeah, turn. Yeah, Hayden. So I would not be surprised if Hayden and Trey did it. Yeah, I think we got some haters, <laughs> to be honest. I think they were jealous that, like, I had some pretty good sausage and they didn't. We had lost a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, everything could have gotten done in under 20 minutes, but, you know, everything had to be minimized a bit. It definitely threw a wrench in my mental process and my way of going throughout the experience, and it really stressed me out a lot. I threw a wrench in his experience, <laughs> and mine as well. I walked past your ingredients many times before when I, when I was interviewing other um, teams. What ingredients were you guys using for the burger? So for the burger, we put in a bunch of seasoning. On top of the burger is going to be provolone cheese, and one of our ingredients was fried egg. And on the fried egg, we're going to do sunny side up with red and green peppers and then after it's done we're going to squeeze some lime juice on it. That sounds really good. Time for Team 6 to present to the judges. Oh, very good though. Texture is excellent. Mm -hmm. um, grilled ciabatta, perfect. Burger, I agree, I would like it a little bit less, but that's my own preference. Yeah, too. I'm, I like I'm rare, medium I like rare. rare. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and again, like the have the ciabatta nice and thin like that. It held. The, I mean, even now the sandwich still holds together fine. So that's what I like yep. about it too. It's 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 
Here we go, Ken. The eatability is not complicated again because I was able to actually hold it and take a bite without it falling apart, yep. dripping all over myself as I normally do. Um, so it was terrific. Onions, peppers, good. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, the peppers added a good flavor too. We'll be right back after a word from our supporters. It's not a convenience store, and it's certainly not a big chain supermarket. It's Hampton Ponds Market in Westfield. This clean, convenient, locally owned grocer has seafood, produce, and meats. A full deli counter as well as a lunch buffet that's always offering up something new and unique. Check out their Facebook page daily for lunch options or visit their website for the weekly flyer. Avoid the traffic of the chain grocery stores and stop by the Hampton Ponds Plaza. And feel free to sample some bakery items on your way inside the Hampton Ponds Market to say hello to George, the owner. Hampton Ponds Market is proud to support the WTA Chef Showdown. Looking for beef from animals raised cruelty and steroid free? Come on down to Autumnist Farm at 1157 North Westfield Street in Feeding Hills. Everyone at Autumnist takes pride in their products such as ground beef, porterhouse, steak tips, tenderloin, T-bone, short ribs, and a large selection of locally sourced vegetables. Daily specials are posted to the Autumnist Facebook page. You can order for breakfast, lunch, or dinner all day or order ahead at 413-786-BEEF. Orders can be taken home or enjoyed in-house at their outdoor picnic table. For more information, please Please visit autumnistfarm.com. Proud support to the WTA's Chef Showdown. And finally, it's Team Seven Stern in the kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited. It's your first year competing? Yeah, I'm literally shaking right now. Like, shaking? Excitement. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> This round, since it's my specialty, working with burgers, etc., not just because I work at a certain place, um, I feel I have a big advantage, mainly with my ingredients. I have a potato roll with uh, sautéed peppers and onions, and a weird cheese that I never saw before. But what was sort of the thought process behind your idea and, and why you came up with it? Okay, he's not in this room, so uh, he had no ideas. Um, he, he had no ideas. I just said, hey, you're gonna make the burger, and then I came up with a little graph last night, and then we went with it, because I'm really smart, and him? He knows how to make a burger, though. I'll give him that. Are there any other teams you feel you're gonna have to watch out for? No. No? You're confident you're gonna win? Pretty sure. <laughs> seasoned burger. We have a potato bun, sautéed um, onions and green peppers, and then we also sautéed some arugula, spinach, garlic, um, red pepper flakes with that too, and the Munster cheese. And is, Munster cheese. Yeah. And what is the sauce? Oh, that's, um, that's a Cajun aioli, so that's mayo, um, lemon juice, Sriracha, Cajun seasoning, and salt and pepper. I don't want to touch that one because I think they're gonna. But I just want to see if there's tomato on here. It's in with. Like I think it's actually underneath. Underneath. Yeah, I think it's with the spinach and arugula. What do you think of the monster cheese? I like monster cheese. It was good. Good on a um, on a on a burger. Yeah, good on a burger. But again, just the bottom of the bun was a little soggy. I probably just would have toasted the. Um, Toasted the bun a little bit more. But I really like the presentation. That was probably the best presentation so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Onions and peppers definitely have a bite to them. That's a preference thing. You know, some people like them, you know, cooked to death. Some people still like a land, little bite. But I don't like no. them. No, definitely some, definitely some bite to it still. Um, but again, that's a preference thing. No, nope. overall pretty good. Now that all seven teams have created a unique and tasty burger, it is time for the judges to send the two winning teams to the final round. My first question is, did you all have fun doing this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think you all did an excellent job. And um, while I am not a chef, so to speak, I used to be a butcher. So I'm very familiar with the meat and how to cook it and how to slice it and how to cut it when the quarter cow comes in and slice it in the air. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cool thing. So um, that was my expertise, right? You 
have been in culinary a long time? Since I've been 16 years old, I actually started working for Mr. Rogers 20 years ago. Um, taught me everything I knew. Um, but everything I tasted today was awesome. Um, awesome. Not, not a plate I did not like. Um, I you know. want you to know that the scores are so, so very close. So if you didn't come in first or second, please don't take that to heart. You may have lost by a point. Um, and we had to score them, right? So that's that's what we did. But I, there is nothing that we had here today that we wouldn't eat at a restaurant. 100%. In order, so give yourselves a pat on the back for that. Okay, you guys did a great job. I want to really congratulate all of you for one for the courage for for doing this, um, and I hope it builds confidence in you. We're, you know, the feedback we're giving is not anywhere to to try to knock you. Um, I think you know I eat here all the time, so I've eaten your food before, and I think you guys all do a terrific job. And we got to get this guy to come here for lunch a few more times, and then we'll, we'll, do. We'll, we'll be good with that. Um, but I, you guys, you guys just knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I killed it. You really it was awesome. Be proud of yourselves today. You created food that most people don't even dream about. You guys did a great job. So can we do a round of applause for you? How about that? And I, and I mean, we do have a tie. Do you want us to say which two teams? Top two teams in there. All right, so the top two teams we tied are... Team three and team seven. Congratulations. Congratulations, how do you feel? Were you expecting this? Yes, obviously, yeah. we're winners, we're always winners. In the <laughs> end, we come out on top, you know. How do you feel? I feel great. You're, you were very confident, and you're right, you did win. Yeah. Is this, is, did your confidence go up with this? Yeah, I feel like I'm ready for the next round. I'm just glad we overcame it at the end and we took a victory. Congratulations. Thank and you. And we destroyed Hayden. Yeah, we were, we were definitely came for you, Hayden. Coming up next week, Team 3 and Team 7 choose their teams and go head-to-head -head for a chance to win the WTA Chef Showdown. But will a late team member stir up some trouble? One of our teammates did not show up on time. Very mad. I'm like, I don't think so. Who will win the coveted golden tray? And the winner for this year is... Find out next week on WTA 2023 Chef Showdown.